A few hours later, the sun rose up so it could be witness of what is considered to be the biggest tragedy in the history of mankind. The death of Hussein, son of Muhammad. He then gathered what was left from his men to pray and informed his enemies that they will need time to do so. Some would pray with Imam Hussein and some would not, afraid that the enemy will cowardly take Hussein down while he's praying. When prayer began, the enemy proved that they were cowardly as predicted by the supporters. They threw rocks and arrows at him and his supporters would protect him by taking the arrows with their armors and chests and even some with their foreheads just so they defend their Imam Hussein and by doing that they'll be able to defend their religion forever. His men proceeded to fight until their death leaving behind them Hussein and his family. Hussein would shed tears for every single one of his companions knowing that they have fought so bravely. Hussein stood up in front of his tent and his children and siblings surrounding him, all so young, wanting to fight for him. The most eager was Ali al Abba, son of Hussein. He was the eldest, 27 years old of age. Hussein stood there in these moments looking at his son and was filled with feelings that any father would have seeing his eldest son this way. His tears were quicker than his words at the moment. Hussein then got close to him and sadly whispered in his ear, Ali, go embrace your mother. Ali walked into his mother's tent. He found his aunt Zainab and his sister Sukhan and Khawla along with his mother. She ran towards her son and grabbed his cloak with affection. Ali was looking at his mother with his heart filled with sadness and sympathy. She gave her son her blessings. And a last hug farewell, heartbroken. She closed her eyes that were full of tears on the very picture of her birth son. While deep in her heart she was calling for him to stay by her side, Ali rode off on his horse for summon to his grandfather Muhammad, holding his sword in the face of the enemies. Ali fought as a hero. He showed great courage on the field, where he eventually became thirsty and went back to his father. Oh father, the heaviness of the metal has tired me, and I am very thirsty. May I have a drop of water? Hussein looked at his son with pity, not knowing what to say to him. He embraced him and said, Ali, my son, go back to the field and fight, and ask your grandfather Muhammad for some water. He will answer. He went back to the battlefield and fought bravely till he was surrounded by the enemy. They showered Ali with heavy stones until he was hit by a stone that pulled him down from the back of his horse. O oh father, O oh Hussein, O oh son of Muhammad, peace be with you. Hussein heard the cries of his son and hurried to him. He put his son's head on his lap, telling him, O oh son, disgrace to those who have harmed you. Ali was on his last breath when he told his father, O oh father, I see my grandfather giving me water just like he promised. Ali then fell off the lap of his father and traveled to the next life. Hussein stood up and said, Ali, my life without you is empty. Hussein takes him back to the town. The young man from the camp.